Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Courtney Perna. Thanks for watching 7 at 7. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing, an avalanche at Lee Canyon on Monday sent a police search and rescue team to the ski area after reports of people missing. One skier needed help, but everyone was accounted for. NV Energy says roughly 460 customers lost power in the Mount Charleston area thanks to the snow. In the valley, rainy conditions expected to stop for the rest of the night, but clouds stick around. Evening lows will hover around 44 degrees. Wednesday will see partly to mostly cloudy skies with a high of 55 degrees and evening lows should hit 43 degrees. Thursday and Friday will see partly cloudy conditions continue. Now for your top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Nevadans heading to the poll this week to decide who they want as their presidential candidate. Today, marking the presidential preference primary, more than 93,000 people participated in early voting. need to exercise that right. If we don't do that, then we're leaving it in the hands of other people to control our lives. We can't do that. Democratic voters choosing from President Biden, Marianne Williamson, Jason Palmer and others. Nikki Haley on the ballot for the Republican primary, even though the GOP nominating process takes place at Thursday's caucuses. Former President Donald Trump and lesser known candidate Ryan Binkley are also participating in those caucuses. The primary polls closed at 7 p.m., so visit LVRJ.com for results and come back for more 7 at 7 updates tomorrow. A person shot and killed by police this morning in the central part of Las Vegas. Just before 1.50 a.m., a Metro officer spotted a suspicious vehicle parked near Liberace Way and Sherwood Street. The driver reversed and hit an unoccupied vehicle parked behind it. The suspect got out of their vehicle to assess the damage, but as the officer tried to make contact, the suspect took off running. During the foot pursuit, the suspect aimed a firearm at the officer. The officer continued to pursue on foot and summons other officers for backup to the area. Backup officers located the suspect on the 2000 block of Sherwood. Police say the suspect refused verbal commands to drop the firearm, causing officers to discharge their weapons. The suspect was pronounced dead at the scene. An education group challenging the Nevada law providing public funding towards the construction of a major league ballpark in Las Vegas. The bill providing up to $380 million in public funding to build the Oakland A's $1.5 billion stadium, that's where the Tropicana sits now, the group filing a lawsuit claiming the bill violates sections of the Nevada Constitution since it was not passed by a two-thirds majority of both legislative houses. And Mayor Carolyn Goodman going viral after comments she made during a media interview. She said the A's planned ballpark at the site of the Tropicana doesn't make sense. It's on the strip where there's often heavy traffic. Adding that maybe the A's should consider staying in the Bay Area. But after comments blew up online, Goodman issued a statement noting that overall she is not against the A's moving to Las Vegas. In business, the highly anticipated Emmett's Las Vegas from NFL legend Emmett Smith opening on February 26th. The restaurant exclusively announced its opening dates to the RJ. A bar with craft cocktails anchors the space and chefs creating a modern steakhouse menu with southern influences and other regional flavors. The menu highlight, Emmett Smith's beloved butter cake. The high-speed internet service Google Fiber approved to operate in some areas of Clark County and could launch by mid-2025. Franchise agreement approval from the Clark County Commission came this morning. The exact neighborhoods to receive the internet services are still being decided. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. On Tuesday, both the Kansas City Chiefs and San Francisco 49ers held media availabilities to discuss their upcoming Super Bowl matchup. I mean, I've been over coaching two Super Bowls, and you lose either one of them, both of them are heartbreaking. So, in terms of pain, I've... I mean, I've broken my arm, my collarbone, a lot of things. So um, those are more painful, but um, those things last a while. But it's all about getting back there again, and that's what I'm excited for today. We're focusing on this game here um, against a great football team, and it's, it's going to take all our energy to do well against them. Yeah. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Lots of Super Bowl festivities this week with an interesting activity for everyone to participate in. 
a Super Bowl mental health summit taking place this Thursday. It's at the Pearson Community Center from noon to 3 p.m. Guest speakers include Raiders cornerback Nate Hobbs and former NFL player Marcus Smith. There's also a panel discussion on health and wellness, free food, community vendors, and a mindful athlete challenge. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Jim Mattress Mac Macking Bell lost millions of dollars betting against the Kansas City Chiefs in recent years. The Houston Furniture Store owner was planning to bet big on the Chiefs to win this year's Super Bowl before they upset the Ravens in the AFC Championship game. But he talked himself out of it. He doesn't plan to place any wagers on Sunday's showdown between the Chiefs and 49ers. For more of Mattress Mac's thoughts on the game, read Todd Dewey's story at ReviewJournal.com. Time for Lifestyle News brought to you by Casablanca Hotel and Resort. The beloved Budweiser Clydesdales are a Super Bowl tradition and this year they're in Vegas. The world famous horses not only make an appearance in a new commercial airing during the Super Bowl, they'll make several stops at places around the valley this week, including South Point Casino and the Stage Door. For a full schedule of Clydesdale appearances during Super Bowl week, visit LVRJ.com forward slash Super Bowl. In entertainment sponsored by Arizona Charlie's has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Here's the latest entertainment news from Review Journal's John Katsalamitis. We have experienced a first here in Las Vegas. Members of network TV affiliates attempted to interview members of the Blue Man Group. That happened on Monday night during the Super Bowl opening night party at Allegiant Stadium. Those interviews didn't go very well, as you know. Blue Man Group do not speak during their shows, but they were a big hit. They dropped in on Nick Bosa's news conference. Bosa, the sack master from the 49ers, professed not to notice them. And also members of the 49er faithful started chanting Blue Man Group at the group. So the group responded in kind by throwing marshmallows into the crowd. Only in Vegas, folks. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. I'm Courtney Perna. Before you go, Super Bowl festivities are in high gear. Here's a look at some of the food and beverage options available for the big game at Allegiant Stadium. You know Vegas is famous for the steakhouse. They're famous for, you know, the wet salads, steaks. You know, we got the best of the best steak here. We got the biggest lobster we can find in the world. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.